In this video, I will go through the steps of how to find the embed code for a YouTube video and then tweak it so that you can play a designated or chosen section of that video. Now you can do this with any YouTube video. It doesn't have to be your own as long as the video allows for embedding. In this case, I am using one of my own videos. So I've got one of my videos up on the screen at the moment and you'll see here from the time code that it's four minutes and two long, uh, four minutes and two seconds long. And I want just one minute or one particular minute of this video. So what I will do is I go to the share button underneath the video and then I click on the embed option. Now what it will do is it will give me the standard embed code. So I could just copy that and then paste it into whatever it is that I'm embedding. But you'll notice just below that, there's a box that I can tick and I can specify the start time. Now it should default to where you've paused the video if you've played it uh, and paused it. But if not, if you know what the start time is, you can actually uh, enter it in minutes, colon, seconds. We then copy that code and I'm just going to paste it into Notepad. So this is the embed code. And what has happened is we've added in this start equals 86 in this case. Now the 86 is the number of seconds. So you can see that I'm starting at 1 minute and 26, which is 86 seconds. So this will now embed a video. It will start at 86 seconds and it will then play to the very end. If I actually want to stop it before it gets to the end, I can change this code by adding a semicolon. I then type in end equals and then I enter the number of seconds that I wanted to end at. Now I want to end this at 2 minutes and 25 so 2 minutes is 120 seconds plus 25 makes 145. So I've now changed the code so that it will start at 86 seconds and end at 145 and then there's a clever little thing that you can add. I'm going to do another semicolon and I'm going to type in REL equals zero. Now what that does, normally when a YouTube video ends, it plays a uh, sort of suggested videos or other videos you might be interested in. That can be distracting if you're embedding this in learning resources. If you type in REL equals zero, as I've just done here, what that will do is change, uh, it, it will only show other videos from my channel. So it won't show other people's videos, but it will show uh, other videos from my channel. Now, if my channel is set up so that all of the videos are unlisted, it actually doesn't show any at all. So that's quite a clever trick. If you've got all your videos unlisted, it doesn't show any. Um, but at least by putting the REL equals zero in, it means that it's only ever going to be your videos that show up as suggested videos, not loads of random other ones that may or may not be appropriate. While you're on the embed code, if you do need to change the size of it, you can change the width to something smaller or bigger, but you have to then change the height proportionally. And if you want to give it a border, currently it says frame border equals zero. Well, if you change that to one, it will give it a, a, a thin black line around the edge, which can be useful if the video itself has a, like a lot of white edge um, and, and it kind of blends into the page and you can't clearly see it. So there's a couple of things that you can change, but the most important thing is this bit where you can specify the start point, the end point, and REL equals zero. I would then just copy this, and then I would go into whatever it is that I'm pasting into, whether it's a virtual learning environment or a blog or some other web environment, and you paste that in uh, accordingly.